Welcome to the Spoken Tutorial on Packages. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a package of classes in Modelica, how to reference classes in a package, how to import a package, and how to use Modelica library. To record this tutorial, I am using Open Modelica 1.9.2 and Ubuntu Operating System version 14.04 and Gedit. Windows users may use Notepad or any other text editor instead of Gedit. To understand and practice this tutorial, you need knowledge of class and type definition in Modelica. Prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website. Please go through them. A package is a specialized class in Modelica. It is a collection of classes. It can be stored as a single file or a directory. We will first learn about single file storage. In single file storage, all classes belonging to a package are written in a single file. It is not recommended as it may get lengthy in a few cases. Now let me switch to OM edit to demonstrate single file storage for a package. Please download and save all the files available on our website. You may see that there is a file and a folder bearing the name Spoken Tutorial Examples. Please download both of them. Now let me open the necessary files in OMEdit. Press Ctrl plus O. Go to the appropriate location on your system and select Spoken Tutorial Examples.mo, Bouncing Ball with User Types.mo, and Bouncing Ball with Import. You may also open each one of them individually. Note that I have not selected Spoken Tutorial Examples folder. We shall discuss more about it when we look at directory storage. Click on open. You may see that Spoken Tutorial Examples package is now seen in Libraries browser. Double click on Spoken Tutorial Examples icon. Switch to text view if the file opens in icon or diagram view. Now let me discuss Spoken Tutorial Examples. First line defines the name of a package. Evidently, name of this package is Spoken Tutorial Examples. This package consists of Freefall class, Bouncing Ball model, and Bouncing Ball with User Types model. End statement defines where the package ends. We have viewed all classes and models of this package at one place. Now let us learn how to view individual classes in a package. Click on the plus button beside Spoken Tutorial Examples icon in Libraries browser. This displays the names of classes present in this package. Double click on Freefall in Libraries browser. Freefall class has now opened. Individual classes of a package may be simulated, but the package itself cannot be simulated. Let me go back to Spoken Tutorial Examples tab. Note that Simulate button does not appear in the toolbar, which indicates that this package cannot be simulated. Now let me unload Spoken Tutorial Examples from OM Edit. Do a right click and select Unload. Select Yes. This is done so as to avoid conflict when demonstrating directory storage. Now let me go back to the slides. In directory storage, classes are stored in separate files. Name of the directory is same as that of the package. A file named package.mo is to be included in the directory. And each class starts with a within statement. Now let me demonstrate the folder Spoken Tutorial Examples that you have downloaded. Note that this folder represents the same package as that we have already discussed. 
Let me demonstrate the file structure of this folder. Go to the location where you saved the downloaded files on your system. Double click on Spoken Tutorial Examples folder. Notice that the folder has the following files package.mo, freefall.mo, bouncing ball with user types, and bouncing ball. We shall understand more about directory storage using both omedit and gedit. Note that package.mo indicates that this folder represents a package. Without this file, the folder does not represent a Modelica package. Now, let me switch to omedit to demonstrate directory storage. Press Ctrl plus O. Navigate to the Spoken Tutorial Examples folder that you have downloaded. Select package.mo from this folder and click on Open. Spoken Tutorial Examples package can now be seen in Libraries browser. Double click on Spoken Tutorial Examples icon. Open the package in text view if it opens in either icon or diagram view. If you scroll down, you may notice that this package is the same as that we have seen in single file storage. The difference between single file and directory storage can only be understood when we open this package using a text editor like gedit. You may use notepad or any other text editor if you are using windows. Now let me unload spoken tutorial examples package from omedit. Switch to Spoken Tutorial Examples folder and open all the files using gedit. Now all the files are open in gedit. Let us take a look at package.mo first. Within statement indicates that this file represents a package. Name of this package is Spoken Tutorial Examples. Note that the name of folder was Spoken Tutorial Examples as well. Package.mo file can only contain the within statement and package declaration. Let me switch to Freefall tab. This within statement indicates that Freefall class belongs to Spoken Tutorial Examples package. Rest of this file has information specific to Freefall class. You may see that other models in this package namely bouncing ball with user types and bouncing ball follow a similar syntax as well. But we did not observe within statement when we opened the package in omedit. This indicates that within statement helps omedit recognize the file structure. Hence it is omitted by omedit while displaying the package. Let me go back to the slides. We shall now understand more about Modelica library. Modelica library is an open source package. OMEdit automatically loads it for every session. It can be seen in libraries browser. It has classes from mechanical, electrical and thermal domains. Classes of this library can be referenced and used. Now let me switch to OMEdit to demonstrate Modelica library. Locate Modelica icon in Libraries browser and expand it. Note that Modelica library has packages named blocks, complex blocks, etc. You may note that a package may further contain packages as well as is evident here. Of special mention is the SI units package. Expand it. This package has type definitions for physical quantities like angle, length, position, etc. We shall see how to use these type definitions using bouncing ball with import class. Compress SI units and double click on bouncing ball with import and bouncing ball with user types. Let me shift OM edit window to the left for better visibility. We shall first look at bouncing ball with user types. We have learned about this model in the prerequisite tutorials. 
This model has type definitions named length and velocity. We can instead use the type definitions in SI units instead of defining them explicitly in every model. We shall see how to do that using bouncing ball with import model. Let me switch to bouncing ball with import. A class in a package is referred to using dot. Modelica.si units refers to SI units package which belongs to Modelica library. Variable h is declared to be of length type which is defined in SI units package. Similarly, variable v is declared to be of velocity type which is defined in SI units package. Note that parameters radius and g are declared in a similar fashion. Now let me simulate this model. Click on simulate button in the toolbar. Close the pop-up window. Select h in the variables browser. Note that the plot obtained is similar to the one seen in the case of bouncing ball with user types. Let me deselect h. Delete the result. Switch to modeling perspective. It is tedious to use the full name of a class every time. This can be simplified using import statement. Now we shall type a few statements that show the use of import. The statements to be typed are provided in a text file named import statements.txt. Go to the location where you saved it on your system. Double click on import statements.txt. Windows users may use Notepad to open this file. The file is now open in gedit. Copy all the statements using Ctrl plus C or by doing a right click. Switch to OM edit. Paste all the statements at the beginning of the model. Delete the declaration statements for length and velocity which have been defined before. Delete the extra spaces. Save this model by pressing Ctrl plus S. Now the model is complete and ready for simulation. Click on simulate button to simulate it. Close the pop-up window. Select H in the variables browser. Note that the plot is same as in previous case. Deselect H and delete the result. Switch to modeling perspective. Now let us try to understand the import statements. Using the import statements, Modelica looks up for length and velocity type definitions using the path mentioned here. This saves the trouble of referring to the package every time. A detailed discussion of lookup rules is beyond the scope of this tutorial. Now let us see how we can replace these two import statements by a single import statement. Delete the two statements and type import space modelica dot si units dot asterisk semicolon save this model by pressing ctrl plus s this statement is known as a wildcard import this way any class from si units may be accessed without explicitly mentioning it now let me simulate this model Click on simulate button. Close the pop-up window. Select H in the variables browser. You may notice the similarity of plot once again. Deselect H and delete the result. Go back to modeling perspective. Now let me switch to the slides. As an assignment, declare variables H and V of freefall class as length and velocity types respectively. These type definitions can be found in SI units package of Modelica library. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Watch the video available at the link shown below.
It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you have questions in the Spoken Tutorial, please visit the website shown. We coordinate coding of solved examples from popular books. We give honorarium to contributors. Please visit our website. We help migrate labs from commercial simulators to open Modelica. Please visit the following website. Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. We thank the development team of Open Modelica for their support. I would like to thank you for joining me in this tutorial. Goodbye.